So today I wanted to talk about The Evil Thin's voice actor trailer and how it may or may not spoil some things in the game. Now I want to direct your attention towards these three lines that Anson speaks out uh, during the trailer and this might give you some idea of what may happen within the story. So I'll let you listen to those first and then I'll get back to you. Are you injured? What happened here? Doc. Doc, what the hell is going on? I can't help if you leave me in the dark, Doc. And you need me to help. <sighs> Trying to make me feel sorry for you? Kidman? Is she here too? Is she alright? So you'll notice that uh, within the first line, he mentions that uh, when Anton is doing the voice for uh, Sebastian, Sebastian mentions that uh, he can't help some doctor, I'm assuming it's the same one that you see uh, in some of the gameplay footage that uh, we've seen in the past. So I'm assuming that maybe he's trying to figure out some like answers as to what's going on or uh, what's the that doctor's specific involvement uh, with the uh, mental institute and some of the various locations that you go throughout the story. Now you'll notice that in the second line, Sebastian mentioned something about feeling sorry for him. Uh, and I'm assuming that him is referring to Ruvik. And that being said, I think I get where he's going at with that. If you remember the one scene in the Pete Hines demo where, where he's going through and you see Ruvik as a kid doing something to that pig's head, I'm guessing that has something to do with, with that scene or maybe a scene similar to that one in the last scene he asks if Kit kidman is there and it's got me thinking as to whether or not he's questioning his sanity like as if he doesn't know if that's actually kidman or if this is some kind of hallucination he's going through so uh, and i'll get to more more into that in a little bit but it is something Something worth noting. You attacked me. I'm sorry, but you're tainted now. You'll notice that in this scene, Jennifer mentions, or when she's doing the voice for uh, Julie, she's talking about something being, or someone being tainted. Whether that's Sebastian himself or some other character, I have no idea. But it's also going along with the uh, the other part that I was talking about, where Sebastian is questioning his sanity. Because maybe um, when he's like hallucinating, Julie is probably probably like hell bent on killing him or something like that. I don't know. There's also the the one scene from one of the gameplay trailers where she's like drowning in like this glass box. So yeah, I'm not too sure on that. So I'm just kind of speculating here. But what do you guys think? And also. There's also this next part that follows up afterwards where she's kind of describing uh, what happens within the game. Um, so that might kind of go along with this whole like voice acting scene. I don't know that I had a favorite line, but when there was a list of, of like, you're being burned, there's acid being poured on you, you have an itchy brain, <laughs> like when all of those things were being thrown my way. Now, here are the scenes that Jackie does for Ruvik. Subject feels as I do, but this vessel is far too weak to withstand the psychological weight I myself bear daily. There can be no mistake. This one is compatible. You were never out of my mind. Now, in the first scene, he's mentioning uh, a subject that's somewhat weak. I'm guessing he's trying to get rid of whatever psychological trauma he has and maybe transfer it over to someone else? It's really hard to say, and I'm barely getting what what he's getting at here. I guess I'd, it'd make a little more sense if I saw like the actual scene that goes along with that line. Now, the second part of that, I really don't know. I'm guessing it's going along with that first part, assuming that that's what we're going by. Again, it's really hard to say because there's they're not really revealing much for Ruvik. So I'm and I'm guessing that's kind of a good thing because they want to like keep that a mystery for as long as possible until the actual game comes out. And the last scene where he's saying you were never out of my mind, whoever he whoever you is referring to, uh, I really don't know. 
it could be anyone in the game. They probably aren't revealing who that is. So uh, your guess is as good as mine. And that's really all I have to talk about for today. So thanks for watching and hope to see you again soon.